18 teams, years of rivalry, and hundreds of yards later, there are no million dollar crybabies around here. All week long, it's nose to the grindstone for the nine to five. But this week is done. Now it's time to get to work. They play for honor, pride, and respect. And being called a champion. This is grassroots American football at the elite level. This is the A7FL, the American Sevens Football League. It is that time of the year again. Playoff fever has begun around the ACF NFL as we bring you to our wild card game of the week presented to you by 11 Sports at the 6 seeded New Jersey Savage host the 11 seeded Baltimore Cobras. I'm LJ Smith. Alongside me is ACF NFL vet Mark Malik, and we'd like to welcome you to Asbury Park where the captains are just uh, going over a few things here. And they're about to get underway. Yeah, and it's the playoffs, so, you know, bring out all the stops. You lose this one, that's it. That's right. You heard it. You heard it first. Win or go home early. And here we go, folks. Good catch. Here we go. Play action. You know. You knew a play action was coming. Up top. <laughs> Your thoughts early. Your thoughts, sir. Yeah. I mean. Uh that's not good for Baltimore. That was that looked a little too easy. Too uh, but that you know that was a good play call because I expected that run and play action one on one down the field. Great catch by the receiver there. Everyone in the world, everyone in the nation thought that uh, that that handoff was a, a certainty. They play, they hit him on top and then he makes a spectacular uh, makes a spectacular catch. That was savage. <sighs> Woo! Already draws first blood. Six zip early. Yeah, that catch was savage. CP3 got some time. Ball up. Over, through, out of bounds. Score remains six zip. Top rank, you know, we're talking about top five defense. Um, you know, with the Jersey Savage, we're talking about they're averaging 28 points a game. Um, so, our, you know, CP3, Corey Price from Elizabeth, New Jersey, they're averaging 28 a game, so already up six zip. So they're going to have to be stopped. It's tough to stop them on offense. Um, their defense, like I said, <sighs> We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I hope this is not going. I hope this is not a blower like thing. Oh, my man, Hubert Joystick. Oh, yeah, he wasn't down after the initial contact there. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Yeah, the Cobras tried to fake the pitch outside and and come back with the inside counter, and uh, that didn't really fool nah, the that uh, Savage at all. That wasn't working. Tackle my man, Carnell Wilson Jr. We got we got my man Bone on the sideline, so we're gonna see another run inside him. Good running, good running downfield. It's a great run by Tim Oliver from Bronx, from the Bronx. Yo, my man represents the BX. All we now uh, now out in Baltimore. Back to live action. Let's take a look here. A quick slant, great catch over here to the middle. Yeah, and another nice play by the Cobras there. So the corner's given uh, 10 yards on the outside and hit him with a slant there. Good for nine yards. Another inside hit off, but Savage smelt that. Olay Bell not having that today, sir. Spread formation. Incomplete. Why would they throw it to Ole side? Whoa. So that's a that's a great that's a great throw off there. Uh, just remind all of our fans again if you're just um, if you're just tuning in. I'm L J Smith. Uh, Join along alongside here with Mark Malik, A Seven F L vet, and you are watching American Sevens Football League here, uh, first round. CP three Calio ice cream truck. Got some time, CP3. Good D down. Good D. Oh, sorry, I forgot to take your picture. Let me write it down because I know you like to switch up things at halftime. Uh, Mark, what was your pick you said? It was, it was a Savage? It was the Savage. Okay, Savage. All right, Savage. Buy how much? 
I'll say by a touchdown. By a touchdown? Because they have a touchdown? Yeah, look at this guy right here. <laughs> by six. <laughs> by six. <laughs> CP3 Calio, my man from Elizabeth, New Jersey, Corey Price. Previously of BIC, league MVP. Inside hit up to the ice cream truck. Darnell Hubbard, none of that, none of. Oh, wait, wait a second. He's still up. Yeah, he was moving the pile there. Nice little run. Got my man Q Bell on the bottom of the screen. Mr. Possession, watch out Watch out for that quick screen or that uh, or that quick hitch right there on the bottom of the screen. I call it. A7FL Guru, watch it. Watch Q Bell. Q Bell, oh. CP3 Calio got that shaking big. CP3, of course. That shake and big, ladies and gentlemen. That is a first down. Some great blocking down there with <coughs> Savage. Yeah, big run. Big run there by the Savage. See, this is the kind of runs that you normally saw. Uh, you know, if you guys want to look at Corey Price's, my man CP3's highlights, a lot of his highlights is from his uh, his MVP run when he played with New Jersey, you know, with BIC out of Trent, New Jersey. And that was make, that's what made BIC very lethal. And now... BIC doesn't have that weapon, so he's enjoying his talents over here in South Beach with the Jersey yeah, Savage. Yeah, that, that was a big loss for BIC, a big gain for Savage. I smell ice cream truck, ladies and gentlemen. What I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the guru said it first. The ice cream truck still up. Ooh, good tackle. Yeah, really, really good D from the backside there. Chased him down. Q Bell on a body of the screen, waiting for that matchup. Match up with my man, the human joystick. Q Bell's not outrunning him, but he could definitely out, out, out uh, route run him. CP3 got that shaking big leg, Jimmy. You know CP3 is always gonna go. Out of bounds. CP3 Calio, what you gonna do with it? Drops back. Got some time here. All day, all day, CP3. CBD tried to run over the human joystick. That's probably the only guy that's lighted him in this league. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so far this is the CP3 show in this game so far. All right. Marching right down the field. And uh, and I, I really think the Cobras should not send three or four guys. That's, that's just uh, an easy pickings for him. I really don't understand. A lot of people don't uh, didn't realize how big of a splash on the league that this move was when BIC, um, when BIC came over to the Savage. You know, BIC came over here. Uh, you know, Donnell Hubbard came over, um, K Wack came over, all of his guys from BIC, uh, and a three looks like a three player, uh, like a three player uh, free agent signing picked the uh, New Jersey Savage picked them up, and and now look at it, they're all um, they're all starters and top leaders in the league playing for Savage. So, not a shot at BIC, just saying, hey, <laughs> those were some good pickups for sure. It's a great pickups. Tackle my man Darrell Harris. Caught Moan out here in the streets of B More. So they haven't completed the pass. So maybe Baltimore maybe just needs to maybe sit back and it uh wait. Well besides and, the first pass, that was the well, touchdown. Yeah, well that yeah, that, besides the first pass, you yeah, can't forget about that one. But besides that, it's pretty much been hike and run, you know? Yeah, Cobra's defense really not playing that bad. it's just Tough to corral CB3 once he gets up in the open field. Exactly. There. Here goes the screen. Oh, we got he got rule. We got the distance. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. New Jersey Savage. We the best. And th and that's two really good play action passes by by CP3. Really gives a good fake. Uh, it it makes the cornerback hesitate for that split second. And that's all he needed. Great pass too. Great pass. Great catch. Sheesh. <coughs> Jersey Savage is the king of the screen. So you know when they, when you get that receiver stopping on that stopping on that uh, line of scrimmage, everyone's gonna bite. They love throwing those screens, and that he just got the separation and and got beyond that secondary. CP3 got some time. Oh, that's a pool. Dropped it, though. I mean, it, you know, it's not like the uh, – typically not like the NFL League, you know, rules, uh, modified rules where, you know, you could run a, a conversion back now. So that would have been a dead ball. But still, good defense by the Cobras. 
And again, if you're just tuning in uh, for the first time, uh, keep in mind we don't do kickoffs in our league. We do throwoffs and do one on three, making the game safer. And a flag thrown on a play. My man Chucky Brewster over here to the human joystick. Human joystick got that shaking big. Oh, he's gonna come back again. Oh, of course, the human joystick. Can you catch him? Oh man. Whoa. Yeah, and that was a nice play all the way down to the 25 yard line. Really nice setup on <coughs> a wide receiver screen there. Uh the uh the looks like the center and guard both pulled on that play and, and led a nice little path there for the human joystick. Human joystick, my man Sean. Graves, I, you gotta understand when he gets the ball and he breaks that first guy, he starts doing that hipping and that hopping. Psh, it's hard to contain him. Yeah, that's right. Press coverage. Let's take a look. Oh, he got a beat. Ooh, Ooh. I can hear that. That was what a, a hit. hit. I heard what that a from up here. Hit. <coughs> Sheesh. He's gonna yeah, feel that, that was a tomorrow. nice stick in the backfield. A nice stick. Here we go. Fix the toss. Got some time. Look for the joystick. Oh. Coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah. Yeah, Carver's lucky that wasn't uh, going back the other way. Some good defense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Savage with a couple good sticks so far. A couple pass deflections. And just a reminder, uh, folks, this game right here is the uh, is our featured game of the uh, of the afternoon for the uh, for the first round of the A7 NFL 2008 season 2018 se season. Excuse me, but we are, we actually have uh, three other games being played right now. We have the uh, the Georgia Chiefs after fighting for that uh, that tiebreaker last night in Elizabeth, New Jersey. They travel to Allentown to face the Immortals. We also have Army. Uh, we also have the Army versus Dynasty, and then the Misfits travel to Baltimore facing the Bulldogs. So uh, a lot of live action today, and then we got uh, and then you know we have uh, our top seeded teams uh, on the on on uh, on bye week. So uh, it looks like that is the end of the first quarter. Savage still with the twelve zip lead. My man Bowen it checks into the game. Great catch, great play call. Use that wide side of the field. Great play call, sir. Yeah, that was nice. Good pass. Good catch. That gets about half the yardage they needed. So now it's going to be, I think, third and six, right? Uh, yeah, third, third and six. But it's 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 a it's a favorable six now because it's not a. So now you have two you have two attempts to get six yards. It just reminds everyone we don't kick in our league. We don't kick field goals. Uh, there's no kicking at, absolutely at all. So, uh, uh, you know. Uh, the league has decided to eliminate kicking, which uh, we eliminated from the uh, from the actual initial uh, throwoffs, which is very similar to a kickoff, or on the uh, conversion, uh, you know, where a center has his head down to protect the center. We don't do a handoff as well. So, uh, so now they're in, uh, you know, so now they have two attempts technically to get six yards. So I'm liking their chances. I mean, Chucky Brewster. Can he use his legs? A flag is down. What's the call, ref? What is the call? Penalty, it looks like, on the Savage. Let's take a look here. Holding. Savage. Defensive holding. So even if they didn't get that first down, that would be a five-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's right. Yeah, and I really like how, uh, you know, the A7 league doesn't have any kicking. Yeah. You know, one thing that drives me crazy is, you know, you work – these guys that play football, they work out all summer, blood, sweat, and tears. And, uh, you know, they're fighting tooth and nail for 59 minutes. And then all of a sudden, this guy, this 120-pound <laughs> guy that's been reading Life magazine on the sideline the whole game, comes in and wins the game. <laughs> comes in the game, doesn't even know even know what's going on in the exactly. game. Exactly. So, kicks, yeah. with it, kicks a game with a field where he's celebrating for centuries. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> No, sir. Not no. You're absolutely right. Not in our league. You better get in that end zone. Not today. No field goal for you. Cause think about it. Then these teams will start recruiting. Just imagine those kicking field goals. These guys will go ahead and recruit players that can kick sixty yarders. 
I'd rather see a touchdown than a field Exactly. Goal. I'd rather see it too. So a big penalty by the, uh, on the Savage there, first down for the Cobras. Huge penalty here. That's the human joystick. You got a lot of shake and bake, and that is a first down. So now they get a. So now it'll be first in uh, first in goal here. Yeah, and that was a direct snap right to the human joystick. They do a little read option there. Nice hole. Nice play call. Uh, I, I actually uh, last time I was in Baltimore, uh, I actually challenged the commissioner of A7 FM Maryland, Marcus Colt. I would say, uh, what would I say? I would say, having a human joystick at quarterback is. He he can't throw, is like makes no sense. It does it doesn't make any sense. But you know what? It does add that extra that that extra um, that extra piece of the uh, that you're not ready for. He got that extra level of speed that a lot of teams are not ready for. That's right. There we go. There, there we go. Now we have a ball game. Now we have a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've been talking about. This is all these all these DMs I've been getting on my Facebook about how Facebook how Maryland how Maryland got all these ballers. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Baltimore, six, get the on the board. Yeah, and we both thought this would be a close game. Yeah, definitely. So, now, this would be a big conversion. They could get a, a conversion here. Yeah. A lot of teams haven't been completed conversions. Yeah, know? conversions are tough for they sure. Take, and they, and they take it for granted. Those are points. Those are critical points. Oh, you know? yeah. Th there's not too many plays where you, you're the get points or you don't on that play. Exactly. Just a couple weeks ago, uh, Chiefs uh, lost a game and they were down at one point down two. You know their conversion would be a tied game. They lost on a safety. Lost on a safety. That's right. I like how they switched it up. The human joystick out here balling. I mean, yeah, and I breaks. like him at quarterback. You don't have to have the greatest arm if you could elude people. Yeah, he juke people left and right. Might have to change the name to PS4. Oh, boat all over through. And I can tell you this right now. If he would have got just a pinky on that ball, it was a catch. Yeah. I have yet to see him drop the pass. Yeah, I just need a little bit more air under that one. Talking to Bone earlier, he tells me that his uh, he purposely buys his jersey sizes smaller just so he can keep just so he doesn't have to put it on for completely. That's what he tells me. <laughs> so if he's like an extra large or a three X, he says he buys him he buys him just just large. That's what he tells me purposely he does that. That's smart because then they can't grab your jersey either. Yeah. There's no there's no slack. Exactly. Plus, you look like you're not even really playing football out there. He's out there thinking, like, hey, this guy's not, I mean, he's not yeah, out here to play. Right. He's not even ready. His cleats are not tied. His ankle braces, his ankle braces on. They're not, even, they're not zipped up. Oh, I love that look. I mean, when I played, I, I played with the old school sweatpants that cut off your ankles. <laughs> like a ripped T-shirt. And I didn't want anyone to think I was good. I wanted that element of surprise. And then as soon as you catch that pass, that's you get right. hit by they're that like, guy in well, that sweatpants. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You be thinking, oh, wait a second, sir. Wait a second. I wasn't even ready. That's right. Yeah. So now we're looking at what twelve six hey guys. If you just tuning in again, I'm L J Smith alongside A seven F L vet Mark Mallet. We're live right now, Asbury Park, New Jersey. You're watching in the red. You have the Baltimore Cobras versus New Jersey Savage. We the best in the white. So the Cobras put a little pressure on the Savage here. Pull within a touchdown, and uh, you know the Savage can't relax now. They need to keep scoring. Exactly. And now and now the pinnacle, as they say, the momentum is uh is in Baltimore's is, is Baltimore's favor now, so let's see if they make some adjustments defensively. I've already seen some adjustments on their D line already. I already see some adjustments. And I now what's happened is that if you look at their D line, they don't have those bigger guys than the D line no more. So now you'll start this now you'll start to see some more containment of C P three. So let's see if uh if now Savage counters that and starts giving it give it to my man uh the ice cream truck. Or uh, as they say in the streets of Elizabeth, my man Debo. Yeah, and that's a really good point. Definitely a lot uh, less weight on the Cobra's line, hoping to maybe track down CP3. <laughs> good my man M dot, of course, at at tight end. Check it in. Of course, you're gonna give it to the ice cream truck. Ice cream truck. If I was out there trying to try to tackle the ice cream truck, I'd be honest with you, I wouldn't even try to do a hit stick. I would just, I'll grab him and just let everyone else come and help me out, you know? Yeah, jump on his back. Jump on his really yeah. sure. back. Nah, trip, actually, be, I wouldn't even jump on his back. Try to trip him? No. You gotta understand something. Let me tell you how this league works. The league, they, they, they if they see things like that, they'll put highlights and they'll put in replay, they'll put in slow motion, and <laughs> yeah, right. it'll be on every type of news channel and on every type of uh, social media channel. And they'll imagine me, LJ Smith, being carried by a grown man for five, six, seven, eight yards, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
the disrespect that I would get in my in my messages. No. And if you're not following us on social media, at seven F at eight seven FL, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And make sure uh, on YouTube you turn your you turn your notifications on. Bowen checks back to the game. The human joystick. Oh, that's a great catch right there. Very nice catch. He picked that right off the right off the ground, it looked like. It was about an inch off the ground and he caught it. Great catch by man Kyle Ward. Caught that touchdown earlier. Nice move on the route, too. It looked like he was going deep and, and stopped and came back. Try to tell these uh try to tell these uh, these young men, uh these uh these high school players, uh pop water players. Your receiver starts getting under your, your quarterback, he's under pressure, and you're running that fly. Sometimes you just gotta come back. You have to come back. You yeah. gotta come back. Yeah, absolutely. So they move the chains. <laughs> oh, CP3 with the lead. Is he going to block somebody? The ice cream truck with the spin? That was, a, that was a nice spin move, actually. That's exactly why you don't want to run in that man's way. Yeah. Yeah, they had him uh, stopped in the backfield. He manages, manages to scrape out a couple yards there. It looked like there's a flag on the play. Let's see what the ref's going to call here. So they'll they'll rush they got their their uh the one the end is not rushing the the left side is not rushing on the bottom screen the right side is complete rush hard rush and then they got my man uh they got my man uh Bowen here look at the control rush here look at the control rush that's can he make a play that's pass interference can the ref go call that no that's not pass interference a lot of I contact. disagree with that call that's a lot no of no way he was going after the ball too but we're Jersey though we're Jersey nah yeah we're Jersey yeah I have to disagree with that one. I still don't understand how guys think it's they can play. It's a close call. There was contact. Nah, that, yeah, yeah, you're there right. There was contact, but I'm not sure about that call there. Let's see what the ref calls. Is it passive interference or is it legal contact? Yeah, and the Cobras here yelling that it was uncatchable, which which could be true, too. How could it be uncatchable when he almost caught the, the Cobras almost caught the, the ball? Co yeah, the Cobras guy almost <laughs> caught it. Yeah, maybe it was catchable, but I think they were both kind of go for, going for the ball. Might have been a little push off. That one could have gone e either way. So after the offensive holding, that, that uh, call bails out the Savage. Bails Big time. Out. Because everyone was covered. CP3 couldn't run. The DNs were yeah, locked in. Yeah, that was a great rush. That was very controlled. They were squeezing him in. And uh, he just threw that one up. Lucky to get the call. Lucky, lucky, lucky. M. Dot checks into the game at tight. So he's just going to reset the play. Woo! Great play. What a hit! Was that with a joystick? Yeah, that was a great play. Yeah, a joystick out here balling. He he, he didn't he didn't let him get outside. Took the perfect angle, and that was a good stick there. Human joystick is like sixty eight pounds wet wear boots. That was a perfect form tackle there. And he, and he played the angle. That's what exactly where you're supposed to do as DN. Make sure you play outside in. Do not let them get outside of you, and that's exactly what he did. He play, Exactly. Uh, he played it perfect. And what happens is that, again, remind folks, um, we don't use equipment here. It's a full contact league nonetheless. And what happens is that it forces players to use proper head tackle, the proper tackle, form tackle, excuse me, um, just as you saw, uh, just as you saw uh, Shaw Graves, as we call him, the human joystick, make that uh, great tackle. That's another right. One, another one of our uh, our featured athletes rocking the uh, second skull headgear, the official headgear of the A7FL. Yeah, you ever want to show somebody how to tackle? You show them that clip right there. CP3, my man M Dot, the bo the Dot Boss, of course. 
more good D by the human joystick. Uh, he, he tries to deflect it with his off hand and, and still keeps his other hand on the defender to make the tackle. Yep. Another nice play. It looks like we got possibly another flag. I mean, that's fair. See, this is the thing. They got they got a questionable pass interference call, right? And uh, like I said, it's questionable. Refs want to keep the game as even as possible. So if they're going to get bogus pass interference calls, I think the Savage, should, the, the Cobra should be able to get the benefit of that with every single call that goes in their favor, you know? I would say these refs do a really good job, especially, um, you know, this is not an easy game to ref. Definitely not an easy game to ref, especially them trenches. Sheesh. CP3 Kelly, yo, make a play. Drops back. He got some time here. Balls up, and that's a catch. Oh, he slipped. Excuse me, sir. You're too little. Blip, blip. Blip, blip. Yep, and what I love on that play by CP3, he sees the rush coming, but his eyes are always downfield looking for an open receiver. He had time, but you know what? It's forcing. What happens is that Cobras, they rush. They're having a hesitant rush, and that's good, but sometimes I can backfire on you because now you're giving CP3. He could do his check downs. He could look for his, his first, second, and third option. That's right. But how many quarterbacks could hurt you like that? Okay, well, you're not going to rush me. Well, I'm, now I'm going to throw it downfield. Oh, yeah. well, now you're going to rush me. Now I'll just run all over you. I can only imagine uh, BIC's uh, management, talent management, and uh, GM and owner Carl Meisner watching this game saying, why, how? How can I lose this guy? I need him back. He'll be at his DMs in the offseason, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Think they'll make a pitch? <laughs> he will. I know Carl. Carl's, Carl's about business. He's trying to get him back. I can see it already. The ice cream truck. Can he run it over? Ooh, good tackle here. That was a good tackle on the ice cream truck. <laughs> There's certain things that I always tell people all the time. Anytime you're watching a Baltimore game, right? Like there's certain things that PA always does, and there's certain things that uh, that Baltimore always does. PA, you could always expect a late hit from PA teams. They always <laughs> can give you one of those late hits, like something dirty, something dirty, not <laughs> not too dirty, but just like, hey man, don't ever turn your back on me. Yeah, like, you know, I'm still here. Bolt, exactly, I'm still here. Baltimore, you could always expect them to hit the big guys, the guys that typically run you over. They don't get to run over guys at Baltimore like that. I don't know if it's because they used to tackling bone all season. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, right. Uh, but they their their tackling is usually the best. Yeah, they put their head in there. They're not afraid of anything. Definitely, definitely. It just want to remind everyone that this game is proudly, proudly brought to you by Second Skull, the official headgear of the A Seven FL athlete intelligence for a smarter and safer game in Tint Tan. Excuse me, professional recovery for serious athletes. Modern recovery for all. We're live right now. Asbury Park, New Jersey. You're watching A7 FL. I am LJ Smith. Alongside me, A7 FL vet Mark Malik. Savage driving in right now. See if they can go up by another touchdown here. They have the lead 12 6. CP3 with the play action. Over top to my man M. Dot. That is some good oh. D. He <laughs> might got him by six inches. Yeah, great D by, great D by the cornerback there, and he almost had he had a chance at the pick there. That's that's human joystick again. That's right, yeah. And, and I really thought he he you know he was gonna come down with that great positioning by him. I'm telling you, early I was on the field, I brought I brought one of those little weight the little uh, weight things. My man was 78 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> How's he covering out there, running guys over, making tackles? Like I said, guys, these are you know a lot of a lot of guys are gifted. They out here playing with heart, and when you play with heart. You get to that next level, and you could tell he's he's been playing a lot of football because his technique is spot on. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Cobras could get this stop. I mean, if they could get this stop, this would be huge. I don't know why they. they, they I don't think CP three should uh, pass three times. Maybe they go to the ice cream truck real quick. Yeah, I would definitely play action. That's a great pass. That's a great catch. Is that good? Wow. Wow, he put it in the numbers. That was a great play all around. The def defender was right there. That was just a great pass and he great put catch. That, he put that, woo. I mean, you can't cover a guy really better than that. You can't. That was, that was some good defense. That was really good defense, just a better throw. That's my man Q Bell from Duke, New Jersey. Mr. Possession. And CP3 just having a game right now. Balling. That's, That's another his third touchdown, touchdown pass. Like, sheesh. That was a great pass. So I mean, pass, right in his hands. Great pass, great catch. 
Well, still three minutes and, and change left in the first half. Cobras have some time to, to try to get it back to within a one score one score game here. I don't know. I mean that they gotta start getting some stops. These guys just drove all the way downfield. That's Yeah. That yeah. passing, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, that pass interference call, that third down pass interference, that might come back to bite him. CP3 got some time here. Excuse me, sir. Got to be a little quicker than that. Oh, close, but no cigar. Yeah, and a very good rush by the Cobras 37 there. See if we get you some, um, again, as the guys, uh, uh, give you guys some score updates again. We have four games here. Um, see if we get you guys some, some. Whoa! Wait a second here. Oh man! I hope. Let's see what the call is on the field. Yeah, savage ball <laughs> fumble on the on the throw off there. That's a big. That's that's a killer right there. Wow. 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 So now it's really time for the Cobras D to step up here. Can't can't give up another touchdown before half. That would be really bad. Wow. Wow. Whoa, wow. <sighs> this is not a it's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, and the Savage have to be smelling blood in the water at this point. Definitely. My man Corey Price from Elizabeth, New Jersey, CP3. Inside hit up to the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck will run you over. Move that line, move that line. So now if I'm savage, I'm actually be honest with you, I'm not even really trying to score right now. If I'm savage, I'm 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 controlling that clock. Going to the half, I'll score, but I'll score maybe like you know under the one minute mark. I'm going to the half, you know, with a comfortable, with a comfortable two, possibly three touchdown lead. So yeah, absolutely, still try to score, but just make sure that the Cobras don't get the ball again. Because all you gotta do is get, oh you have the human joystick. You put him in the open field. You never know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, broken he, coverage. He could score with ten seconds left on the clock. Absolutely. I don't trust it. Play action. CP3. Can someone get a hand on him finally? Ooh. There you go. There's some hard-nosed D right there. Good finally. rush by 37. Nice stick by number six there. Jeez, my man Daryl Harris for Gwen Oak, Maryland. Called Bone out here. My man Bone sniffed out that and said, Debo, not today, sir. That's the matchup I want to see. I want to see Debo go head, head on with a... Uh, uh, with my man Bone right here. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a collision. Everybody always likes to see big, you know, the big guys in the trenches. You know, that's right. So we're at the two minute mark here. Uh, clock stopped. Scores eighteen to six. So we're at the two minute mark. Less uh, first half. Uh, first half is almost over here. Let's see if uh, let's see if CP three can get in there. Got my man Uno Dos Santos at the bottom of your screen. CP3. CP3 Cali, yo. That looks like a first down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, very. Yep, that moved the chains. Jersey getting that clock love. Eight seconds only ran off. Seven, seven and a half seconds only ran off that clock. They're getting that clock love. Yeah, it's home field advantage right there.
This is a big stop here for the for the Cobras. Yeah, they need a stop here. Need this. Inside. That's the wall. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You got what you asked for. Bone. Look and, at you. The bone. Bone didn't move there. My man Bone told he, Debo. The yeah, ice cream he, truck. He didn't really give an inch there. Nah. Guys don't realize that. Don't ice cream trucks out there in Baltimore? City ordinance. They don't allow them to serve. You can't serve ice cream there. The ice cream <laughs> trucks is right. illegal to serve ice cream on Sundays in Baltimore, sir. City ordinance. They passed that a couple years ago. That's what they told me via DM. Just got that updated info. So that is why he couldn't get past that line. Yeah, and we're just talking about that match. Exactly. That That's was a that clash matchup. of the Titans right there. And I'll tell you, I'll take the. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I like, I like the ice cream truck, but you know what? I don't know. Like, my man Bone, he he got that. He, I don't know. You never know what about him. They're both really good. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think Bone just might have you know a few pounds. Because Bone look him. like he he's holding something back, like he's waiting for the yeah, last minute. That's right. <laughs> Clock is running. Savage milking that clock. You're not getting no possession from this. Play action. He got some time. That's a good pass. It's a great catch. Good pass. Wow. Great catch. Another touchdown for my man, CP3. He's on fire. He can't on. miss. Every pass Jeez. he throws is, like, right there. That's four touchdowns. And none of them were, like, lucky or anything. Every pass was right in their hands. Perfect passes. On the money. I mean, I don't remember a quarterback performance like this in terms of throwing a ball oh. in a long time. You're right. Can you I think don't, of anything? I don't even think he's. I don't. Even, I don't think he's had a legendary game like this. Even when he played with BIC during that MVP run. Yeah, right. he's lights out today. Yeah, lights out. Now it's gonna. It's gonna take a huge effort by the Cobras to get back into this one. Hey, listen. At least we're both good in our picks. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's all that matters. That'll be two in a row for me, I think. Sir. <laughs> after, after, after going 0 for 20. You can't, you can't carry, sir, 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 sir. You can't do that, sir. Sir, sir. You can't do that two in a row for you. This guy. You, two in a row. Would you uh, pick the game from 9 this morning? Come on, sir. Get it together, sir. After 0 for 20. This guy. Yeah, no. Who did I pick last week? I forgot now. Oh, the U over, yeah, over you, yeah. BIC. That's right. CP3 got some time here. That's incomplete. So the score remains 24-6. Well, still, you know, I'm, I'm an eternal optimist. So I'm thinking a minute left on the clock. They score here, the Cobras. You know, it's it's a ball game again, no? Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you guys could see my facial expression <laughs> I give it this guy. <laughs> I, I really believe that. I wish. Listen, sir. If I you mean, can't drive, if you barely could drive, if you can't get into the end zone really when it really counts, what makes you think you're in the end zone when it's a minute left, sir? Well, you know, they have the playmakers. Savage might be, you know, just be like, oh, we got this, and kind of relax with a minute left, maybe. Yeah. Never know. Uh, see, that might be for the average Jersey team, but if, if you know the Jersey Savage, they like to run up score against Baltimore. They want to disrespect Baltimore. They want Baltimore to take this game personal. I don't think they're going to take any time off, any plays off. They'll get it from the 33, decent field position. We'll see what they can do. I think that's plenty of time to score. Uh, uh, plenty of time, you say, huh? Hey, when I play Madden, I only need 30 seconds. Listen, let me tell you something. You are absolutely right, but you know what? I had money plays in my Madden game. Money plays, my go-to plays. That's I right. I got three or four plays that I know that if I see a cover two, I know that post corner is going to work. If I That's see right. a cover three, that flat's going to be open. And the Cobras are the same way. They have some plays up there, tricks up their yeah, sleeve. Yeah, we'll see. That seems going to be open. I mean, let's see what they're going to do here. What was this? What? 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 I, I, uh, I'm throwing the pen down. Like, I, I wish they could hear the sound effects of the pen drop. Wait, I just I don't understand. Yeah, just a couple of crucial turnovers for the Cobras, and uh, that just can't happen when, when CP3 is playing like he is. Payback. I remember for way back. You heard about that. And uh, Misfits and Bulldogs, you got that as well, right? Yeah. So I don't want to be cold blooded, cause, but it's possible that three teams from uh, three teams, four teams from. Uh, oh wait, some good play call there. Dangerous, but he made the catch because he threw it. He threw that screen in, uh, with a bunch of savage defenders out there. So we got. Let's see here. With the exception of Chiefs and Immortals, so we have three Baltimore teams. 
right now in a wild card round that could potentially be eliminated. But that's not what you're trying to see, though, right, sir? You're not trying to hear that? Right. Uh, I'm sorry. A sweep. My man, you see the score? 24-6, sir. You can't use the word sweep. This is the whole thing. You can't use the word sweep. You can't say sweep and one team wins. It doesn't work that way, sir. We don't bring out the brooms like that. In Jersey, like my man Mark Mallet would say, we bring the brooms out when it's a complete four, four sweep. Right. We don't do all that three. Uh, well, we you lost one. That one don't count. No, sir. We don't do that out here, sir. That's that 7,500 crap you talk about over there, sir. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. So now, nah, so we got forty two seconds left. Uh, I mean, I know, I know you're, uh, I know they're down, and I know you want to rep. You know, I know you're repping the league, but you also want to rep your, you know, rep the, you know, the Maryland division. Do you tell them to deal right now? What are you telling them? Exactly, and now they're playing from behind. So actually, I mean, if they could get something right now, anything, uh, that'd be some good, good momentum. Exactly. Even if they don't score, at least if they get a big play that could go into the second half. So, uh, so definitely. Are you here for the you here for the for, for the duration of the game, right, sir? Yeah. Excellent. All right. So cool. So we'll talk to you a little bit more at halftime. See, get get some insight here. Um, See if I get some picks from my man Mark Malik over here. Mark Malik, he's milking it. You know, I want to get some more picks from him, sir. Hey, so uh, Mark, quick question, sir. I got so we got four games today. I know you already made your pick, but I'm gonna do the rest of the games today. I know we don't know him to do this. Um, Chiefs and the Mortals, who you like? I do, I do like the Chiefs. So I'm not joking. Blasphemy, sir. Vargas is playing quarterback. Blasphemy. I'll mute your mic right now, sir. You said what'd you say? Am I the only one hearing what he's saying? Did you just say I like the cheese, but I like the mortals? You can't say I eat cheese and cheese at the same time, sir. Either you got to pick one, sir. All right, so you got the mortals. All right, there's no switching your mind up here, sir. All right, all right. So we got the uh, we got the Pennsylvania Dynasty, right? Traveling all the way down to Baltimore at 3 p.m. to play uh, versus the uh, versus Baltimore Army. Who you liking that one? You don't. You know it's funny. I just saw you. You just flipped the coin heads or tails. You said, uh, "I take Baltimore." You took it because their home court, because their home field advantage. All right, fair enough. And uh, Misfits, Misfits, one man. Uh, Misfits over here versus the Bulldogs. Who you got? Ladies and gentlemen, you see what is what's going on here? Now, he's no, no, no. Well, again, you're you're previously a savior bomber, and by default, you have no love. You have zero ounce of love for any type of t any team or player from from Pennsylvania. No, no, that's correct. Zero. In fact, in fact, I heard a story one time that uh, you were driving one day, and a Pennsylvania team uh, won a car broke down, and they needed a a, a, a boot, like they needed a, a tire change or something. Right. And you purposely just drove past them. The level of disrespect is real out here in these streets, huh? Uh, yeah, I I, I, <laughs> I, I I did stop, but um. <laughs> Just to observe. <laughs> Back live, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, CP3 trying to rub the score. Are you kidding me, my man Dion? Dion? Another one. Uh, another one. Yeah, and that might as well be a walk-off home run because that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to explain to you guys. New Jersey Savage runs up scores. That's what they do. Has there been five touchdown passes in one half before? There's never. He's like Doug Williams in he, Super Bowl. You gotta uh, say, hey, Doug, you, listen, five, 26, t five TDs in the first half. I'm going to see if I can get, get Carl Meisner from BIC on a, on a uh, mic at halftime, see if I can talk to him. Uh, because this is like one of those things where you reminisce. It's like, uh, how can I say? It's like, you know, when you see your ex-girlfriend and she's dating someone else and she's winning, you know? <laughs> So we got 26 seconds left. Savage, New Jersey Savage, we the best. Yeah, and he's throwing bo he's throwing bombs out there. These aren't five, ten yard passes. He, they're 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 coming. They're raining down from the sky. What coverage was in? Was that cover one? Like what was there that? There must have been some confusion. Thirty to six. 
And the Savage, are, they're having a good old time on their sideline right now. <laughs> wow. In any type of football history, has anyone? You, do you know if anyone's ever come back from 30 to 7? Even like the Test of Verde days with the Jets and... Yeah, something. I think it was right around there. Yeah. I, I, it was the Oilers Bills. They came back? Yeah. The, the Bills uh, backup quarterback, Frank Reich. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I was told that BIC came back 26 nothing in 2016. And who was the quarterback at that time? CP3. CP3. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. The New England I, Patriots were down 28 to 3. That was in the second half. Sheesh. We're going to see, though. CP3 Kelly O. Can you get the conversion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that wasn't CP3's fault. The sideline blew up on that water for, for the Savage. They wanted that conversion. Another laser beam right into the chest of the receiver by CP3. Having so we, that game. So we got over 70 yards rushing and five touchdowns for Corey Price out of Elizabeth, New Jersey. What more can you ask for? He is playing. He's playing lights out football. I mean, they should just get a massage chair and a cigar for him on the, yeah. for the second half. Get one of those tip taps on the sideline. Even if he doesn't have any injuries, you know. Even if he is feeling good, give him that tip tap. Save him get, for next week at this save point. For that, yeah, get that. Get, get one of those uh, massages from Tip Tam. Speaking of Tip Tam, yeah, how effective is your recovery? Uh, Tim Tam makes the world's best handheld massager and accessories to improve the performance of serious athletes. Massages break down knots, increase blood flow, and release lactic acid to improve your recovery. They're also the makers of the Tim Tam Power Massager, Deep Tissue Percussion Massager. I look, this is getting crazy. This game, this guy, you know, now Savage is, is feeding off of this energy, off, off of the score. Yeah, and sometimes when things go wrong, it's just... It starts to cascade, and it just multiplies, and it's a snowball effect. You think they could put up 60? I, guess, I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, they could definitely put up 50 if they want to. Cold-blooded. <laughs> and, you know, this is a statement to the rest of the league. It is. It'll be interesting to see who, who they play next week. I think we'll have that info. Too. We'll have that info soon, too. They would probably play one of the bye teams, I would think, and that would be a great matchup. That'd be a it'll be an insane matchup. Oh, he got some separation. Oh, oh man, wow, what? Yeah, that was that looked like that they had something there. Had him. He was wide open. That was a good ball. He put that ball on the money. Uh, my man Bucky Brewster uh, put it on the money and. Receiver got behind the defense, it looked like. And the safety. Yeah, and the safety, yeah. So we got a little. We got less than 20 seconds left in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, you're watching uh, one, of our, uh, one of our four games from our wild card week. Um, 2018 playoff live action. I'm LJ Smith, alongside here, A7FL vet Mark Malik. I also have in the booth with me um, the commission of the A7FL Maryland, uh, Marcus Cole. And uh, we get some insight from him about this first half, because I know this is not the, this is not the the Cobra team that he's used to seeing. And uh, we'll also see if I can get some um, some insight from uh, from BIC's owner, uh, Carl Meisner, who previously had uh, rights to CP3 but no longer does, as he's out here throwing dots, dot here, dot there, dots everywhere. Got a screen. So they throw screens for 10 yards. All right. And you gave Savage only six points on this game. You was scared. That's right, yeah. You was playing scared. You was, you was, you was, you was, you was. I just picked the winner, that's all. I'm not sure how much they'll win. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's safe to say that home field, home field advantage does count. Last time these two teams played, it was a six-point game up until midway through the fourth quarter, and that's when they kind of, uh, that's when they got went ahead and uh, went into cruise control, and Cobra started making mistakes. All 
So I guess the Cobra's just looking for a Hail Mary here. Oh, Hail Mary. Why? So they can pick it off. Savage can pick it off and run it back to the house. Just nail the ball. Has oh, a man. he's open. Oh, man. Yeah, and another good ball there by the quarterback. You got That one has to get brought in if you're the receiver there. I'm surprised these guys are getting open downfield. I don't know if it's because of the score. He had a man. He had a man open. And he had a hand on it. I think it, there's a lot of wind in the stadium, so it kind of affects where the ball goes, and you can tell the receivers aren't quite sure where it's going to land. Right. Yeah, and that's the end of the first half, is it? Looks like it. Well, let's see. Well, keep in mind we started a little late, so uh, the refs might be uh, might be playing right through here. Let's get some. We'll get clarification here momentarily. Uh, it looks like there's four seconds left to go in the first half. So it looks like we have about what about four seconds left in the first half. Yeah, this should be the last play of the first half. Don't say I didn't tell you so. If you throw a pick six, human joystick, screen pass, pass, screen pass, pass, screen pass, pass. Oh, what that Taylor Jones? pass. Listen to the A7 NFL guru. I'm a guru. Oh, wait a second. Oh, nice move. Ooh, whoa. That was a really nice move. It's as if they told me what was going on. That's right. See, yeah, I don't play I don't play time. I don't play anymore, but I still have that ninety nine awareness. That bad right. ninety nine awareness. So as soon as I saw him back there, we knew that he had no he had no chance of running. He was gonna throw that pass. So that's the end of the first half. We have yeah. Savage thirty, the Cobra six. Cold blooded. Stay tuned for the second half. So and let me get this um, straight. So let me get this straight real quick. We're live te national television. You're telling me, and as we as we get thrown off, we start of the second half here. Um, wait, let's take a look at here real quick. Oh, some great tackle. Sheesh. So you're telling me that Corey Price had three bad games, and you decided to bench him. I'm not in the huddle. It was more sir, than sir. Did you the offense? The offense decided to bench him. Yes. All right, mute your mic. Uh, Mark, mute his mic, please. Take, please, mute his mic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, Corey Price was the MVP, league MVP, and he's telling me. Yes, but 12 points, not saying it was his fault. Not 12 points a game, 12 points total in a three-game span. Everyone has their struggles. Even I, LeBron Even LeBron had his struggle. He still, they still I called the goal. I understand, and I'm, I'm just saying the entire offense, not Carl Meisner here, because I can be a little biased. Are you, on the, defensive Are you on the defensive side, sir? You're on the defensive side. No, I'm not. No? Okay. I'm um, but the entire offense thought, you know, that they need to make a change. And, I mean, sometimes you have to live with your mistakes, you know. <laughs> you guys heard it first. Like I told you, sometimes, you know, sometimes the grass, they say the grass is not green on the other side. Well, that does not count today. The grass is green on the other side. My man CP3 is balling. The human joystick, this is what we're looking for. Open field, open field tackle by man Alajuan Bell out of Newark, New Jersey. We call him Ole out here. Mark, you think you think Cobras can win the second half? Then at least you think they can score more points the second half? Yeah, I, I I do. I think they could they could put up a fight here for sure. I mean, they drove all the way from Baltimore. I don't think um, they're going to go down that easy. More play action. More inside handoffs. The human joystick. And that is a first down, ladies and gentlemen. The, the chains move. <laughs> and 
and that's how they should have started. Like you know, I, I know it's I, you know I know it's it, it's it, you know it's always everyone always has to judge and critique people, especially when they're losing. But you know that's their bread and butter. That's you know having having their both their better athletes bone um, in a game with human joystick. So another inside handoff right behind bone, but none of that. They smelled that one out. So we're looking at about a second and ten here. No yards gained on that play. And like I said, we'll get some... Um, We'll get you some updates here momentarily from uh from the from the games out here in Baltimore and uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. So the ref just communicated. Looks like the uh, trying to find out whether it's a, a penalty or it's a false start, or whether it's an offside or. <laughs> so, uh, so as the refs go ahead and decide on what's going on, let me. I uh, uh, just want to thank everyone for Eleven Sports. So check us out. Keep in mind, you can watch this game. Uh, as well as the rest of our uh, featured games uh, presented by Levin Sports on Monday nights on DirecTV, Verizon Files, ATCU Verse, and at your local Hooters everywhere. Shout out to Hooters and their deep fried pickles. Play action. Got some time here. Bucky Brewster. Bucky Brewster. Can he make a play over the rule? Cover yeah, and LJ, man. on that play, they only had one guy on, on the route there. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't match protect. They saw they they thought they saw a mismatch and didn't match protect. I don't know why they did that. You know, my man will it be? But plays that D. Yeah, interesting. They need something though. Third and long. I, you know. This is not like I said. This is not this is not the kind of Baltimore. This is not the Baltimore uh, football that I'm used to. You know, I'm used to hard hits. I'm used to you know making stops on D, and um, I'm used to getting past the 50 yard line. Guys, come on. Wow, Fabulaya, Fabulusku, picked up by the Savage. Is that Lajua Bell? Of course it is. Yeah, and the fumbles have really uh, got to the Cobras today. I think that's their what, third or fourth fumble. Yeah, that's a huge fumble. gives gives a savage ball gives gives a savage ball back in their territory. That's uh, you know that's a good that's you know I got a question for you, Matt, uh, Mark. That's a good question. Do you keep CP three Corey Price in a game right now? I would, I would just for a little bit longer, just to make sure. You never know. Uh -huh. But, you know, probably not for too much longer. <laughs> uh, but you said, you know, the Savage like like to run up, run up the score. Do you think that's what they're going to do right now? I mean, I see it, I believe it, but could they, you know, could they possibly, you know, oh no, well look like look, they look like they benched him already. They got my man. They got my man M dot the dot boss of course at QB. Yeah, so maybe they're just gonna try to try to ground this one out and uh smoke the clock, I guess, right? Gives it over to the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck is a big one. Yeah, and the Bulldogs I think at this point kinda like uh lost their spirit a little bit, maybe. 
game's over, bro. Ah, man, listen. <laughs> I mean, they uh, Savage just hit him in the mouth from the opening play. That play action right down the field for a touchdown. I think that kind of stunned him and, and put the uh, Cobras back on their heels, and they never really recovered from that. So Savage is elected to go ahead and, uh, and to play safe. They have a favorable lead here. So it looks like they went ahead and elected to uh, bench CP3, Corey Price, and uh, now Markeith Williamson, M. Dot, the dot boss, of course, checks in here. Not really known as a QB, but more of a, uh, just more of a like I said, a, more of a veteran uh, leadership type of play. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! <laughs> the level of disrespect out here is crazy. Yeah, and I wow. guess it doesn't matter who the uh, savage quarterback is. They just throw touchdown passes. He can score. They can score. Everybody can score. They really went for that play action, too. He didn't want one of those yeah. deep play uh, yeah. uh, Peyton Manning, overhaul, overhaul, deep play actions. That was Right. My, oh, my my man, my man, Chill Bill, Chill Bill, Volume One. Oh, Melvin Blanco, previously of BIC, with the touchdown catch. Let's go to the BIC owner, Carl. Carl, who's this guy, Carl, who just caught that touchdown pass? That was right? Melvin Blanco, aka Chill Bill, Volume Two. Chill Bill, Volume Two. Correct. Defensive end. I mean, you know, that's what he played with us for the most part. But um, you know, you're up now. Savage can do whatever they want. I'm sure I could take off my headset and go down there and score. So another, so another BIC player, formerly a BIC player, balling for New Jersey Savage. We the best. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was his rookie year last year. I mean, you know, he was uh, just getting his feet wet in the league. But he always had a good motor. He's a good player. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it first. The grass, the grass is green on the other side. And that's the insider. Information from BIC owner Carl. He's the plug, ladies and gentlemen. You guys want to know what's going on in between these trenches at BIC? You want to know what's going on between Jay Roller, Jason Roller? You want to know what's going on? The guys got to hit up the plug. My man, Carl Beisler, Trent, New Jersey, GM and owner of BIC, who got the buy. We're gonna see them. We're gonna see them live action next week. Possibly, yeah. The Chiefs win. We will play New Jersey Savage. If the Chiefs win today in PA, we will play the New Jersey Savage next week. If the Immortals win Blast today. Blast me. Mute his mic, sir. Blast me. Mute his mic. He said if the Chiefs win, we're we all the Alex Vargas. Sir, take the, please, take the microphone. Surprise is loose. Easy for the New Jersey Chiefs. Mark, back blast back. me. He said, he said, he said if the Chiefs win with Alex Vargas, I don't care. He said Easy's going to be back. I don't care if, listen, they could have, man, they could have Randy Moss and Terrell Owens. And Steve I Smith at slot. What I overheard was ST quarterback, Vargas safety, easy at All right, let's, let's hear it again. Let's get some, some inside I, info, I sir. I don't know if that's the truth. But, but I want to know what's going on. The last night was ST at quarterback, Vargas at safety, easy back out there at wide receiver, home from the Marines, fighting for our great country. So, I mean, the game started an hour and a half ago, so we should be getting some updates soon. Easy Wingate, ladies and gentlemen, um, who actually has not been there all season. Was uh was went active duty with the U.S. Marines. We're rumor out that way he's uh activated for the playoffs. Maybe, hey, but if they have St. at quarterback, a lot of so so some injuries also brought to my attention for uh for uh the Immortals here. So see if we get you update here momentarily with the uh, with that Chiefs game here. Score remains 36-6, cold-blooded. Again, if you're just tuning in, um, I'm LJ Smith alongside Mark Malik. I'm also in the booth with uh, Carl Meisler, the uh, GM and owner of the uh, BIC out of Trent, New Jersey. Inside handoff, another one. Tech of man, will he be, but... So that's a gain about... So the decent run, get about five yards on the play, second and five. Yeah, and it looks like the uh, Cobra, Cobras are just content to just run out the clock here. Of course. Get smacked in Jersey. You got to go, go back home and pay that toll. Your season's over. One and done. Man, this is, this is rough. <laughs>
play action. Pass attempt over here. Looks like they were trying to get over here to my man Bone, Darrell Harris over here, number six. That just shows you how much the league's evolved. Just to think two, three years ago, Baltimore Colts were running everything in Baltimore. They were the, like, the, the champions the first two, three years in a row, and then you know, the invaders evolved. I'm sorry, Carl. You were mentioning something. I apologize again. Uh, uh, Carl was mentioned again. Repeat that, sir. What were you saying? I was just saying that uh, it just shows you how much the league has evolved with the Baltimore Cobras being the top team in Baltimore two, three years ago, winning the first few championships over there until the emergence of the Gators and now you know, the Kings, which are now the Vikings. Well, also keep in mind, good, that's a good, uh, definitely good, good you brought that up because you're absolutely right. Um, but then with those teams, with the with the emergence of the Vikings and the Kings, uh, they lost a lot of key players as well, you know? Ace Boogie, little, uh, yeah. Ace Boogie Lou, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are going to see him in live action. We're going to have him. Um, again, if you guys just tuned in, he will be uh, we'll be back, not this weekend, but we'll be back the following weekend. Uh, we'll be off of Father's Day weekend here. So uh, we'll be back the weekend after. We'll be back, be back in two weeks here. Another inside hand to the human joystick. So now Kobe's just kind of like, you know, running the ball. This is the opportunity where, you you know, you wish you had the true clock option like they had. Like I said, I always give you guys the, uh, the Madden reference, but, you know, sometimes we just want to, you know, instead of just kind of pulling the plug, <laughs> you hit true clock. You want this game to be over as soon as possible, so. Another inside hair to you. Oh. Blasphemy, sir. Sugar Way is not one of the best tacklers. Where are you getting your information, sir? Sugar Ray don't get no burn when they play in the big game. So if he can't be the best, you can't say what. This is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Mark, I need your input on this, sir. Yes, sir. Can someone be the best at anything and not play in the big games? No. That's you, even, that's you, decision making. You could be the best tackler. You could you could be the best. I could be the ra best freestyle rapper. I spit hot fire. I, you you gonna see me doing some freestyles, no? That's right. How do you feel about RC? Bell with another tackle, number nine. Um, RC is way better than your man Sugar Ray over here. Oh, you don't get into politics? Okay. Well, but Arcee's kind of old though. Arcee's a vet. He's kind of old. He's been here since day one. This is this is young. This is young man's game, you know. Yeah, but he has like he has like from the legacy days. He has like ten years of ten years of full contact seven seven on him. How long has he been playing since even even? Two thousand eleven. Into six years. Most most guys, you know, last eight years. The human joystick. Oh, correction. Okay, another thing, we'll get to it. Um, yes. How do you feel about Cubella wide receiver? You want my honest opinion? He's probably played 10 snaps the entire year. My honest opinion? Cubell has uh has the uh, is the backbone. The Cubell, the Bell brothers, uh Lajuan Bell, uh a Cubell both have been the backbone of the New Jersey Savage uh, since their, uh, like I said, New Jersey Savage is one of the original teams from the uh, ASFFL legacy days. Um, Q Bell, I'll be honest with you, is not the best receiver, uh, but he is, he is, he is one of those guys that, oh, decent ball to my man Bone. Would you say he's top five? Would I say a lot, he's top five? No, he's not top five. He's not top five because we have, uh, as a, as a league evolves. Ev uh, as it evolves, it evolve, continues to evolve. As, as, as the league evolves, as it continues to evolve, uh, we have receivers. We have guys that, uh, that again, uh, you know, Lajo, you know, you talk about Q Bell. He's not a, you know, he's not, a, he's, he's not a young chicken anymore. You know, he's a. Of course, no, you just, but, but just because he doesn't drop passes doesn't mean that he's a top five. 
Yeah. And the point I'm trying to get at is it's no shots to anybody, but sometimes guys that should be playing are not, and sometimes guys that shouldn't be playing are. Um, even on BIC, we suffer from that sometimes. That, that's what I meant by Sugar Ray not playing isn't a shot towards Savage. What does it mean he's not good? I'll be honest with you. Sugar Ray couldn't start. I mean, Sugar Ray couldn't start at the Bulldogs. I'm sorry, that Bulldogs, excuse me, Cobras. He could have started the Cobras defense right now. And the Cobras are getting beat right now, 36-6. He could have started that defense. Let me ask Mark. Mark Ballister, a quick question for you. Yes, sir. Uh, previously, it was the Savio Bombers. Savio, Savio Bombers from the old legacy days who have the most championships um, all time, right? That's right, yep. You were, there, uh, you were there in the beginning, correct? That's right, yep. Uh, tell First me, three years. Tell me, uh, tell me your input on uh, what Carl mentioned about how a uh, guy sometimes it might be politics where a guy might be a top player, but he may not be able to get in the, get in the game for whatever reason. Did you guys experience that back in your days? None, zero. Best players always played on the bombers. All right. So, I'm sorry, Carl, but it's blasphemy, sir. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Bla that's blasphemy, sir. <laughs> you feel you're the best player on almost any team you played on. How many teams barely used you? Honest to God. I mean, you see what I'm saying? There's plenty of teams that do it. T Bone isn't the best. But T Bone stopped showing up for the Chiefs because he felt like he wasn't getting the ball enough. Nah, well, T Bone was, well, once they started getting new backs. He was a running back of yours back on the DBK days. You're right, but T Bone, yes, there. That was what, five, six years ago. T Bone right. is not a top. T Bone's not the fifth best back on the Chiefs. The fifth, not third, the fifth. Back to live action, the triple reverse over here. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're trying to. Uh, Try and get some information on uh, on some teams here, and uh, this game has ended up being we got two minutes left, two minutes left in the third quarter. The games the games got ugly. Mark, uh, you know, I guess is this is it safe to say? I mean, I hate to say this, but it's not even the fourth quarter yet. But is it safe to say this game's over? I think it was over at halftime. At, at halftime, sheesh, yeah. sheesh. I mean, uh, be. Yeah, I mean, be, be, you know, miracles happen, but miracles do happen. The way that first half ended, you just I couldn't imagine uh the Cobras coming out with any kind of steam or juice. That's some hard running. And that was close to a first down. You know what you could do? You know what they could do if, you know, besides losing the game. There's there's many ways you can lose a game. You can lose and get scraped, right? Or you can lose and still have uh, you know, you still have your, you know, your self-respect. Uh, still, you know, I mean, if you lose by two touchdowns, maybe three touchdowns, it's still, you know, you know, you still could walk out. You know, you still walk out with your head high. You get beat by four or five touchdowns, your effort starts gets questioning. Your your level of effort starts gets challenged. You know. Yeah, that's a tough loss for sure. Scoring does that do anything? Uh, maybe pride. Let's see if they can see if they can get in here real quick. Oh, clean them up. That can get in. That's close. What's the ref going to call? What's the ref going to call? Yeah, it looked like he was at a, out at a, about the one-yard line. Yeah, and that's what the ref's calling. He could have cut it back and used his body, but I guess he I guess he figured he thought uh, he could dive that one out. Yeah. Oh, they, that was dangerous. They decided to throw the ball. Sheesh. So now the score is 36-12. Let me see. 36-12. I'm not going. I'm not going math. 36-12. And we're still talking about 24 Three points. Three touchdowns here. with all the conversions. Uh, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. It's all right. Listen, maybe they get this conversion right here. If they can get a, I would go for two if I was them. Yeah, they're gonna go for two. Yeah, you have to go for all the twos. They at this have point. to go for two. You go for two right now. 14. And it's going to be 22 points. Maybe there's hope. Maybe you have a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. Yeah, three touchdowns. You never know. You know, maybe Savage all of a sudden uh, starts throwing. Maybe Savage starts. Maybe a fumble here and there. That's a good pass. Oh, man. Oh, and ball was on a muddy, too. Yeah, that was a good, nice little play call. Got had the man open. And again, I apologize. I'm also joined alongside uh, uh, Carl Beiser, the uh, BIC uh, GM and owner. The BIC uh, has, uh, from Trade New Jersey, has a uh, 
has a bye this week, so he's he's alongside us. Now, if they do things like this, start trying to pass, shotgun set, do things like this, if I'm a Colbert fan, I'm liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> yeah, it gives you hope, I guess. Gives right? you hope. He, he doesn't really have an arm. He's not a quarterback. Why is he the shotgun set throwing outs to Debo? I mean, to, uh, to you know, to... Uh, to my man, ice cream truck. Why? I think they're just having fun at this point. Yeah, get, get, yeah, having fun could also catch you a L early. Mm, that's <laughs> <laughs> they would have to really try to lose this to to lose. I think I don't. I know. have hope. I have hope. I have hope. So it looks like the... They're just uh, going to wind it down until the f- yeah. end of the uh, third quarter here. So that is the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Savage on top, 36-12. to 12. Uh, Again, this game is brought to you by Athlete Intelligence, Second Skull, and Tim Tam. Professional recovery for serious athletes, modern recovery for all. Oh, it's a great catch right there. My man M Dot Marquise Williams said out there thinking that he he thinking that he gonna come in there. He's he trying to get he trying to get a couple touchdowns himself, huh? <laughs> yeah, and if you didn't know who was winning this game, you would think the Cobras are winning. They're running the ball uh, and the Savages are they're throwing the ball. Like I told you guys, Lynn German, New Jersey teams have a certain level of disrespect when they're winning. They when they're winning, they start throwing people at receiver that don't play receiver normally. They run up to score. And the reason, again, the only reason why CP3, Corey Price, is not in the game right now is because they want to save him um, save him for the uh, for the next ball game. And the ball is up. That's a good pass. That's a goal. He dropped it, though. Some good D. Wow. Yeah, very good coverage downfield by the Cobras there. Wow. Some good D. Number 22 for the Cobras. Great coverage there. Clock is ticking. So that will bring up fourth down, it looks like, and they're going to go for it. Fourth and about five. This is what you like. Like I said, if I'm a Baltimore fan, <laughs> these are the kind of things I like to see. Don't pin them. Play action. M. Dot with the lead. Oh, good tackle. <laughs> That's a great tackle. Wow. Good tackle. And number 37 for, for the Cobras actually has a pretty decent game. Yeah, he's Co- been balling. My yeah. man, my man, uh, my man uh, Keenan Snyder. Yeah, Mr. Snyder has been – he had a few good rushes. That was a great tackle to, to pretty much preserve any chance the Cobras had. Exactly. So now they can uh, – again, like the only thing that kind of is not in their favor is that in our league the clock doesn't stop um, – you know, the clock doesn't stop uh, for you – look, know, I mean, uh, they already did turnover downs, and that clock is running. So, like maybe they could make it. Maybe they could cover the Vegas odds. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. But where was this energy in the first half? I just want to know. Yeah, well, that's a good question. Inside handoff. Looks like it's another tackle by uh, Carl Myers' favorite, Sugar Ray. And if you guys want more information about the league, like I said, um, if you guys are not already following us on social media, at A7FL um, on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, and definitely... Um, you know, give us a like on our videos and uh, subscribe, and make sure you turn your turn your notifications on, so we uh, so you'll be the first to know when we get uh, you know, first to know when we get our uh, our live streams here. We're live on uh, Facebook Watch as well as uh, as well as on YouTube. So as soon as you uh, as soon as you follow us on both of those uh, social media, you'll be able to get that notification as soon as we go live. So uh, still got a lot of live playoff action to come. And that was a nice little run there. Broke a few tackles. 
that's what happens with guys. Guys, you know, I don't know if it's because maybe New Jersey Savage got their second string in or maybe because New Jersey Savage is maybe maybe the, the intensity is not the same, but. Yeah, it's definitely hard to come out with the same intensity, you know, in the second half when you're winning by yeah. by 30 points. Balls up. Can you make a catch? And complete. Yeah, and it's tough to go deep when you're down by so much because the defense obviously expects it. And the cornerback knew that was a fly, and he, and he ran that pattern just as good as the receiver did. Exactly. Still waiting, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize about that. Still waiting for an update from... Uh, uh, still waiting for an update here for uh, the traveling... Uh, New Jersey Chiefs traveling all the way up to uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Try to see if they can pull off the upset here. The human joystick. You know when he's at quarterback, he got a lot of shake and bake. Yeah, and that was a nice conversion there. It sets him up with the first down. <laughs> What's worse, you think, Bart? Losing at home in an upset? Or traveling, or traveling three hours plus up the turnpike, up ninety five, and losing. What do you think, sir? No, I, I think losing at home, you know, yeah. is worse. For, for your sure. home, for your whole crowd, your whole yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah, and especially because the savage. You know, everyone expected <laughs> them to win this game. Play action. I mean, Bucky Brewster. Boom! Oh. The first drop I've ever seen. My man Bone drop. Darrell Harris out of Gwen Oak, Maryland. So second and ten, another inside handoff to my man, the human joystick. He's been racking up those yards. Yeah, he has had a good game. Yeah, solid performance. Yeah, a couple know, highlight, effort. a couple highlight plays too, for sure. Definitely, uh, definitely a solid, solid game and a losing effort here. But uh, you know, what can you do? Like I said, New Jersey Savage, top five in points allowed. You know, it's like and I, said, and it's I haven't seen a start. Like the Savage started this game in a long yeah, time. Yeah, no. We were talking about. They were shot out of a cannon today. Yeah, absolutely. Jersey Savage, you know, also averaging, you know, they're averaging 28 points a game, uh, a little over 28 points a game. And they're, uh, you know, they had 28, at, more than 20 and a half, so. So a little miscommunication on the Cobra side there. That's going to bring up fourth down and about five yards. So we're going to have some great matchups next week. Whoever wins this week, we're going to have some star-studded matchups. All these teams that had a bye are going to be ready to go. Exactly. And then teams that won this week are going to have some momentum, so it should be some great games next week. I'm sorry, not next week. We're off for Father's we got Day. The, yeah. If you guys are paying attention to the top of your screen, my man Jabril Beeman up there. My man Willie Beeman still talking trash over there to my man Bone up there. Oh, Bone. Bone. That's what happens when you talk to Bone. That's what happens. Get caught in that slant. Chains are moving. Gotta get, gotta, my hats off to to uh, and Mark. My hats off to Baltimore again. They're down big, but they're still finishing strong. You know? Yeah, absolutely. They know there's no tomorrow. They know that the sun the sun is setting. <laughs> and you know they're not. You know they're not fighting with each other. There's not the normal like you know rancor. I guess is the word. Exactly.
That looks close to a touchdown there. Yeah, it looks like he got in there. That looks like a touchdown to me. We'll see. Let's see what the rest call. Might have stepped out right at the one-yard line. He's not going to get that jersey favorable spot, though. All right, so the refs, yeah, it looks like the refs put the spot in the one-yard line. Yeah, now Cobra's going to our, going to a hurry-up now. So the last update, yeah, so la last update we got ladies and gentlemen for the Immortals here, 12-6. to 6. QB keeper. Oh, my man Bo. <laughs> that was a really cool play there. My man Bo. A little shovel pass. Darrell Harris, ladies and gentlemen, out of Gwen Oaks, Maryland with the touchdown late. Uh, quarterback threw a shovel pass over the defender's head. Nice play. He, 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 man, if he didn't throw a shovel pass, he was going to get laid out. So the score is now 36-18. Fortunately, there's no onside kicks uh, in our lead, ladies and gentlemen. So we're talking about worst-case scenario. If they get a two-point conversion, they're down, what, they're down 16? Uh, they six Immortals. Score update here. We got 19 to 6 in mortals. Sheesh. Can't say it's not expected. So 36 18. If they get a two point conversion here, they're down 16. Hopefully, they got three timeouts. Six minutes left. Oh, I see, two I, scores. I, yeah. I've seen, I, I've, seen, I've seen it happen. Let's see who's going to make a play here. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh! Oh, oh man. That was a good pass. That was a good pass, yeah. He had to make a he like I said he it was had a tough to, catch. Tough catch, yeah. And and that kinda puts a hurting on their chances. Now it's three scores instead of two. Yeah, exactly. Seals the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to remind everyone that uh, if you're catching, you know, you remember you can keep th catching this game, as well as um, as well as all of our featured games for the remainder of the playoffs on Monday nights. Uh, on uh, excuse me, on Monday nights on Eleven Sports, on Directv, Verizon Files, HTU Verse, and at your local Hooters. Shout out to Hooters. Um, like I said, Hooters. When it comes to wings, Hooters in that spot in Baltimore, Baltimore Cheat Day Bar and Grill, out on Carroll Street in Baltimore. Uh, those are like my two top. Two top favorite spots when it comes to uh, coming out there for the wings. Um, so definitely uh, definitely check them out there. Now the score looks a little better. You know, the score looks more. score looks like it was a hard-fought game, you know. And, you know, it wasn't really that lopsided, uh, the score at halftime was. But, I mean, Cobras didn't play that bad. Yeah. It's, uh, I think the Savage just played great. Savage played great, played lights out football offensively. That's, that's right. And uh, CP3 played like a stud. That's for sure. You know, what, you know, how can you stop a guy who's, who's he's running, he's, he's out there, he's out running you, right? Then, right. When you, then when you make the adjustments, the necessary adjustments, which they did correctly, and they put, now they put faster, they went ahead and took their bigger guys out and they put more speed at D, at the, on the D line. Then, you didn't really rush to CP3. You allowed him to do his check downs, and he just picked you apart. So, and he threw a couple uh, amazing deep passes too. Dots. He dot. He's out there throwing dots, ladies and gentlemen. Right, dot right in their hands. Yep. What absolutely. What can you do? What can you do? Yeah, I think uh, Corbett just ran up against a buzzsaw today. Yeah. So that's a, that's a, another run over there by uh, Donnell Hubbard from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Also known, like I said, his name is Ice Cream Truck out here. Four minutes and change running in a ball game. A bad pass. Pass incomplete. Sheesh.
Savage has no like they are. They have no. They have no respect. They're gonna run the score. They're gonna run the score. Yeah. Who I passes mean, up? Who passes up three touchdowns with three minutes left in the ball game? Who does that? Yeah. Who does that? Well, they have the luxury of the clock not stopping too. On well, a complete true, pass. you're right. Absolutely, that 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 could be. Um, so that doesn't make a difference. Absolutely right. That could be that could be one of the reasons why. And that. And complete pass. My man's throwing ducks out there. That guy was even open. That's smart to get your backup smork though, if you know the game. But he over. threw it like this. Like he did one of these. <laughs> we have a timeout on the field. Looks like they're gonna they're gonna throw it away here. I keep on uh, like I said, we don't do uh we don't do kickoffs nor do we do uh punts. So there'll be a, a throw off here, uh, one verse three. And uh we'll see if uh like I said it's a eighteen a three touchdown ball game. They still got three timeouts. Uh, what type of scenario do they have to do to get back in this game? Maybe return this for a touchdown? Uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, I'm trying to do the calculations in my head. and um, Yeah, I'm over here trying to do the calculations as well. And the number's not adding up. The number's not adding up. So It's just, uh, yeah, it's not adding up. Wait, the human joystick. You, you, ladies and gentlemen, you know he got that chicken bake. The human joystick. Oh, they see that? They're not going for him no more. You know when guys are running towards you, right? You know when the guys are running full speed towards you? Uh -huh. You just gotta—he know he's about to hit you with that blip blap. That's right. That's so right. sometimes you know the defender. I mean, the sidelines. Your fourth defender. That's right. So get out of bounds, and we're good. And we, you know, you're good. So the clock is running. Three minutes left in the ball game. Again, if you're just tuning in, you're watching it. A7FL. We're live right now, Asbury Park, New Jersey. I'm LJ Smith, alongside me, A7FL vet Mark Malik. Uh, you're watching the Cobras out of Baltimore, Maryland, in the red. New Jersey Savage in the white. We the best. Uh, triple reverse. A quadruple reverse. Ooh, what a hit! Sheesh. Who was that? Was that Sugar Ray? You know, you you know, you know how you know you can tell when someone gets hit that hard, Mark. When someone hits you legally, and you want and you want and you look at the guy like you want to fight the guy like. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hey, bro, why'd you hit me that hard, man? What's going on over here, guy? That was too hard. <laughs> oh man, that was a hard. Give him hit. credit though; he popped right up. Yeah, You're right, but he'll feel that one tomorrow. I tell you That's that for sure. Another inside handoff. Some tough run in there. He's definitely hit. He's definitely hit the 100 mark so far. You know, I give the Cobras a lot of credit just for you know playing the game out. Definitely respect. A lot of teams. A lot of teams would have thrown in that flag. They would hit that. I don't want no right. more button. I mean, by playing the game out, I mean playing the game out hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, the, the score was what? Uh, Thirty to six. Yeah. Thirty six. It's thirty six eighteen. You know, Savage ain't no scrubs, you know. No, not at all. They put on a show today. You know, we talk about, you know, even though they got a six seed, you know, a lot of their losses came off of uh, came off of last minute fourth quarter run. So, Sack on the play. Looks like we have a timeout on the field. Not sure who called the timeout there. Probably New Jersey Savage. You know how disrespectful they are. They'll probably call a timeout. <laughs> you think they want the ball back? Yeah, they want the ball back. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, no, M. Dot says he wants to get that into it one more time. He said he wants to be playing the game. <laughs> no, sir, you're not going to be playing the game, sir. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of smiles down there on the Savage sideline, not so much on the Cobras. Yeah, a lot of celebration. That's what happens. Two teams that celebrate the most when they win it is the U and the Jersey Savage. They be having parties. <laughs> Guys be opening food. They be opening like fried chicken, like fried chicken. Uh, they be having like sandwiches and picnic tables set up. They set up the tables and everything as soon as they start Light winning. up the grill maybe? Yeah, light up the grill. They're winning. Human joystick. Looking for that deep pass. Or, can he make a play? Oh! Wow. Good defense there. That was a good ball too. That was a pretty good ball. I can hear Marcus Cole. Marcus Cole, the A7FL uh, Maryland commissioner, saying that right now. LJ, I told you he could throw. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he really exposed himself throwing that ball. <laughs> he got a hit at the end. That was a good ball, just, you know, good coverage, too. Minute 41, the game's over. Uh... We gotta see how good these savage, uh, how how good this New Jersey Savage though gets, you know, in the next round. So who would they play next next week, Savage? That's gonna be a great game. That's gonna be a great one. CP3 versus Silky Smooth. Wow. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Ooh. That was a gang tackle. Sheesh. <laughs> so a hard hit it out there. Yeah, that's right. Got to put that on the quarterback, though. You can't expect, uh, you can't hold the ball that long. Ten seconds. That's, yeah, that was, that was a bit. You got to have that clock in the back of your head. like Savage yeah. playing great D, though. I don't think anyone was open. Yeah, you're right. Downfield. No, I saw a human joystick. He ran a hard seven-yard hitch. He was open right there on the that, that bottom of our screen. Just, I guess, you couldn't see him. D-line D, D is, 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 you know, covering him up. This could be the last play of the season for the Cobras. Yep, and that's going to do it. And that's a ball game. Final that's thoughts, a ball sir. game. Final thoughts, sir? I mean, really great game played by the Savage. Not so much a bad game by the Cobras, just a great game by the Savage. I agree. I agree. Uh, Cobras came out, like I said, uh, Cobras came out uh, cold. Uh, I'll be honest with you, if they, if they had a second, if they had a do-over, <laughs> they had a do-over, like that Staples button, they had a do-over, maybe, maybe it might be closer. <laughs> It might but, be closer, but I don't think they would win, even if they played 10 times. Yeah, definitely. So, again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm LJ Smith again with uh, Mark Malik. Uh, final score is 36 18. New Jersey Savage with the win. We'll Thanks, see, guys. Yeah, we'll see you guys, uh, see you guys in two weeks here where uh, second round of the playoffs will be even more intense. Live action. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, Follow and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV.